A frustrating Fed decision for some and a missed opportunity, says Saxo Bank's chief economist, Steen Jakobsen. Federal Reserve certainly almost closed the window on themselves to have the ability to hike interest rate. And what is really concerning for me is that the guidance, the communication policy they had with the market is totally out of touch now. You had, in an environment where Federal Reserve wants to hike rate, you had one member actually advocating a cut in interest rate. So it seems like that Yellen is not only sort of losing the market's patience in terms of her guidance, but she's also losing the boardroom at the Federal Reserve. The Fed seemed to be most concerned about emerging markets and China. So how worried should traders and investors be? Well, first of all, I think Fed is always late to the party and central banks of all are late to the party in terms of their analysis. But if you put in context that what she really said was if emerging market was the main reason for not going ahead hiking interest rate, what will change in the emerging market between now, October or December for China, for overall emerging market? Nothing will change. China has been gradually slowing for the last five years. Emerging market and the crisis in the emerging market has been coming through the very strong dollar and the very, uh, hence the very uh, low commodity prices. So there's nothing new in terms of what is going on in the economy. There will be no ability to see the needle change in terms of the emerging market of China between now in the balance of the year. So everything being said, I think the, the only thing that really changed was that Fed was looking for an excuse and they, the excuse they had was the old news that emerging markets are under pressure and China is under pressure in terms of growth. And how is Steen trading the latest Fed thinking? Well, it increases the uncertainty. So it's another theme which will add to the volatility because obviously we saw two-year notes, which is very stable, uh, come off dramatically in terms of interest rate yesterday, the biggest move in many, many, many months. So it's a clear indication the market had to change this perception of the Federal Reserve. The dots, i.e. the projection into the future was much lower. And significantly, the inflation undershoot continues to be a theme, even now with the Federal Reserve, who's gone away from the, the, the uh, transitory part of explaining inflation. So as a market trader, I, I think it's now 50% likely they hike this year and 50% likely they cut interest rate. And of course, that creates a huge amount of confusion, increase in volatility and the path out of this zero bound interest rate and what it will do to the world remains an unknown uh, equity for people to analyze. So I think the, the, the clear thing is volatility will remain high and elevated. I think fixed income could get some sort of a, a, a tailwind into the rest of the year. And, and in terms of equity, there are two ways to see this. Federal Reserve is pretty much accepting a pressure from outside countries and, 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 and institutions to keep interest rate low. So that can be seen as a quasi uh, easing of global conditions. But will global condition easing work? It doesn't seem to have done anything for QE in Europe. So maybe that is the jury's out on that. And the negative part, of course, being that by refocusing on the emerging market, on lack of growth, we basically are acknowledging from the Federal Reserve officially that they cannot hit the inflation target in the immediate future. And they're going to have difficult to get the lift off in growth, which is negative for top line growth in equities. So equities is so-so. I think it's negative for dollars overall. And I think the theme we've seen and, and supported in our analysis over the last two quarters that that could be a good rally in, in gold and, and semi-big rally in, in dollars to follow from this. So the will they, won't they debate rumbles on. I have to admit that I came into this meeting thinking 50% likely they were high and that the market uh, was wrong in, in underestimating the ability. But what clearly materialized out of this meeting was a dovish Fed uh, and a dovish Fed in the uh, highest degree uh, they seem to be, as always in the history of Fed, they are swaying away from taking any hard decision, from actually taking any accountability and responsibility for, for resetting the clock on, on this very easy monetary policy. So away goes all this uh, talk they had about uh, doing the right thing, being preemptive and not lagging. But of course, the market remains with the story that she could still go in December and it's a, it's a mirror copy of what Benanga did when he did the tater tantrum only to in September he didn't move but moved in December but overall I'm very disappointed and the Federal Reserve is 
I'm with the market. I, I think it's as likely that we get a cut as we get a hike now. So it, it, it really means that the chances of seeing a hike is, is very, very small overall for this year. Because I don't see the US economy recovering. I don't see international condition improving. And certainly with the Fed leading the weight into nothing, they also leaves uh, inflation low.